welcome to the Curly Chemistry video. I'm so glad you are here. Today, we are talking about the science behind mousse, like really looking at the chemistry behind it, what's inside of it, the benefits of it, and why it should have a place in your natural hair care routine, okay? You guys know I don't waste some time. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first, let's break down the science, the chemistry behind the mousse, okay? And let's look at the formulation. So the first thing I wanna point out in your mousse is going to be the base. The base of the formula in most cases is going to be water, and it's going to be at least 80% of the formulation, like it's a huge chunk in the formula, okay? And this is where that hydration is gonna come into play and also that lightweight texture as well. The second thing I wanna point out are the styling polymers. Now styling polymers are going to be the magic of the mousse, what makes it so amazing. And styling polymers actually create a light, flexible layer on the curls that's going to give you curl memory, whole definition. So when you do a twist out or braid out or a wash and go, it's going to remember that formation and stay in that space. The second function of the formula is going to be the humectants, glycerin, panthenol. They're going to draw moisture into the hair and then you have your foaming agents like cocoa betaine or decoglucoside. These are cleansing surfactants that don't necessarily cleanse your hair in this type of formula, but they give the formula this airy, moussey, lightweight texture, AKA the foam. Now I do want to point out too, the component, the packaging plays a role too. Because if you notice, mousse is going to be in a pump, like some type of pumping mechanism. It brings an air into the formulation. So when you have that aeration tied to this formula, you get that mousse texture, foamy, bubbly, blah, blah, blah. So Now that we know the science and the formula behind mousse, let's talk about the benefits. So regardless of type three or type four, mousse is gonna be great for definition, hydration, and styling because of the styling polymers within the formulation. It's also gonna be great for like refreshing your curls, refreshing your washing goes, and then it pairs very well with creams and gels. So you kind of got a lot of good things going on here with the mousse but that being said let me show you how to use it the right way okay so the first thing i want to do is section my hair then apply water as my first hydrating layer and then i'm going to use the curl smith hydro style flex jelly as my gel base for curl definition and then i'm using the dough chief rock of mousse for the curl memory the hair softening and of course to avoid that crunch that wash and goes tend to give you some time and then we're going to do a little shingle action for extra definition and i just repeat that same process water gel mousse shingling and then that's it now one thing i will do is clip the side down that i'm done with and then proceed to the next side and literally repeat that same exact process now you can choose to diffuse the style once you're done but i typically just air dry and i get these results here So if you guys enjoyed that little mini moussey tutorial on how to use mousse, now one thing I do wanna point out really quick is what to watch out for, like what you should be looking out for. So when it comes to the formula, I would avoid isopropyl alcohol. Um, this tends to be a very drying alcohol and some brands will put this inside their formula to kind of expedite that drying time which is okay for some hair types, but in some cases it can also be drying to our hair. The second thing I would say is you wanna be mindful about not layering it with heavy butters or heavy oils because you're gonna take away from the benefits of mousse. Ideally, I recommend combining mousse with either water or some type of gel, for example, or a cream. All right, Curl Friends, hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new, especially around the science of mousse and the formulation and how to use it and all of the things. I will definitely be incorporating mousse more in my regimen, okay? So especially in my braid outs and my twist outs, and I may be doing some more wash and go, so we'll see, we'll see. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like this video and to stay in the loop for more curly chemistry content, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay in the loop for the next video. And of course, I have a question for you. It's kind of like a two-part question. 
Number one, do you use mousse? That's the first question. And then the second part of the question is, what's your favorite mousse? What are you recommending to the girlies, okay? Let us all know, comment below, and I cannot wait to see your responses. And of course, for all things curly chemistry, check out all of the links below, especially if you wanna learn more about the ingredients behind your favorite products. Check out all of my wonderful eBooks up here for the hydrating herbal hair tea rinse to get your hair growing, to stop excessive shedding, to use it as a curl refresher, okay? The link will be below as well. And of course, if you need extra support on your hair care journey, I would love to connect with you and do a one-on-one -on -one hair care coaching call with you. And I will have all the information linked below for you as well. And for those who want to start hair care lines, no matter where you are in the world, I would love to assist you on your hair care creating journey. That link is below as well. All right, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.